part of the difficulty we have in the area um, that our residents have is, is that there is no health facility that is, is within a 10, 15 minute radius, um, which is what you would want as an ideal scenario, especially based on the size of the population. Treasure Beach is made up of a number of bays, including Billy's Bay, Great Bay. Um, we have Lewistown. So a number of small communities that come together. But the population has seen a significant increase from the days when it was a, a, a sleepy village fishing village to now. Um, so there is a, a direct need. Our, our closest clinic now only really deals with maternity, right? And um, has very limited operating hours. Um, and then outside of that, it's, it's in our capital, which is Black River, which again, um, it's 45 minutes to an hour away. And as you can imagine, especially with an aging population, um, that length of time presents a significant difficulty when somebody is in need of care. Um, so there's a direct need for the residents and, and the clinic will go a far away want to improve the service and the health of our residents and, and the idea is to have a full service clinic developed um, where we can deal with a number of different specialities um, so that our, our residents importantly have somewhere to go when they fall ill. In, in relation to Treasure Beach and how the characteristic has changed, um, I guess 20, 25 years ago, Treasure Beach and the, the bays that make it up um, were just largely known as fishing villages. Um, what we've been able to develop, and, and this has been largely through community involvement, through a very strong private sector involvement, is we now have, without fear of contradiction, the best community tourism product in the entire Caribbean. Um, what it has seen is, is a number of small type villas um, being developed and hotels being developed, which really come with an integration of the tourists and the community. In fact, the vast majority of the workers now who probably would have been involved in fishing or agriculture are, are now largely involved in the hospitality sector. They now work in the villas. Um, so with the work that we're doing in relation to the infrastructure, and as Member of Parliament that has been one of my main goals to get the infrastructure up and running, the roads, the water. And we have seen a significant increase in the amount of villas. And we're going to be seeing much more. In fact, we have a direct plan, and this is coming directly from the Tourism Product Development Corporation and the Ministry of Tourism, to continue to make Treasure Beach the mecca of community tourism. We want to increase the visitors. It has been shown that the model that we practice here is the most successful in terms of capital retention, is the most successful in terms of repeat visitors. Um, and as such, in that community framework, having a healthcare system that is reliable will augur well to improving not only the number of visitors, but clearly the number of villas that will be set up, the sort of investment that will come into the area, and clearly the amount of employment that will be provided for the residents. So we are looking at a, a total development of this Treasure Beach area, this Treasure Beach basin, um, and the health system ties directly into that. And, and, and I say, quite frankly, what the beauty of the sort of tourism that we practice is that when our tourism expands and our tourism sector expands and our hospitality sector expands, it, the communities do better because the sort of tourism that we do practice is a tourism that involves the community directly. So again, those in agriculture, they feed directly into the villas. Um, those who have studied hospitality, they feed directly into the villas. And the main source of employment has now become the tourism industry. So the expansion of the tourism industry sees the expansion of the community, quite frankly. I want to raise the economic profile of the community. And, and that is a sort of integrated approach. One of the things that we have prided ourselves on, the sort of tourism that we have practiced, is a wellness brand of tourism. And this is, again, why the health center is so important because it, again, ties directly into what we're selling to the world, what we have to offer. What we offer is the people. And that's what makes our tourism product different. Um, we have the warmest, kindest people in the world, and clearly a, a, a sort of environment that you can find nowhere else, and which ties into wellness, well-being. Um, and we want to keep pushing that. Um, and from a government perspective, we have seen that, that that is an excellent growth area. Um, so we now do have 
a number of visitors who come, whether it is to practice health tourism, um, to participate, or just to, to give up their expertise and time. And we believe in the clinic, we can, with, with a clinic, we can expand that. And for that, for us, that's very important. We want to see a better Treasure Beach. We want to see a Treasure Beach that is healthy, as our residents have somewhere close that they can go to ensure that when they fall ill, um, their chances of recovery are much, much better. We want to see a health center in Treasure Beach. We want to see a fully functional clinic that will be the envy of all around us, but more importantly, that will serve the residents and serve the visitors who come here and become part of our family. As a member of parliament, I've heard a number of stories, uh, a number of, of circumstances have been related to me where the journey um, from Treasure Beach to get to our, our health center in Black River or to get to the hospital has unfortunately just, just proved to be too far. And um, if we had a closer facility, quite frankly, um, some lives would have been saved, right? And, and, and it's especially challenging for the elderly. Right, um, and if, if, you're, if you're aware of the terrain, if you're aware of, of, of the drive, if you're aware of the journey that one would have to travel, you, the difficulty is clear. And, and even without the stories, just seeing it for myself, um, the need is clear, the need is, is, is evident. Um, but there have been, unfortunately, instances that we want to put an end to. Right, and we believe that this project can put an end to those unfortunate circumstances. Clearly, what you want to do is to give your residents, to give your people the best chance. And when it comes to health, time is, is, is of the essence. Um, so the closer, um, the more well-staffed the facility is, is the better chance that our residents will have to recover when they do fall ill. Because of the severe need for, for adequate health treatment and facilities yeah um, because of the significant need for the, the residents to to see health practitioners what has developed um, largely because of the relationships in the community are a team of visiting doctors who who journey down um yearly to see the residents have the residents set up shop right here in treasure beach and have the residents visit them um, in fact two years ago i had the the the, the wonderful opportunity to meet some of those doctors and to speak to them and to see the take up and the take up was it was amazing in terms of the numbers of people that were coming to visit out of the communities but what i think we have recognized is that some of the persons especially those who are older who find it more difficult to travel the distance um literally wait for a yearly checkup um, when the doctors come, knowing that the doctors will come in around July. Clearly, that's not necessarily the best approach um, because at the end of the day, what we do want is that at the earliest sign, at the earliest onset of illness, that our people are able to go to a health practitioner to ensure that um, all is well or that if something is not well, that it can be remedied at the earliest possible time. Um, so it, it would really help the area if we were to have not just... Uh, yearly intervention by a team of doctors, um, but a consistent intervention by a team of doctors. Doctors who are here, that at any time of the day, anybody falls ill, they can go there. It also stands to reason that there are a number of schools in the community, right? In, in, in fact, um, in, in the radius that, that surrounds Treasure Beach and Pedro Plains, um, down to Newcomb Valley, we have three primary schools. Um, we have a plethora of basic schools, probably almost 10 basic schools. Um, and as you can imagine, when you have children at that age, um, and uh, you know, they're very active and they sort of play and um, accidents will happen, again, they need the service of a facility that is close to them, right? And, and that has been um, in the forefront of our minds in relation to advocating to have something in the area especially because of the large number of schools. So this would go a far way if we have uh, not a, a, a consistent location where doctors are, um, a health center um, would really help us. I think we all know that healthcare is, is the most important part of, of, of our lives, to, to be honest. Um, but we often take it for granted. Right, we often take our own personal health for granted, especially us men. 
And, and, and that's a reality that we have to change. Um, and the only way we can change it, one, is, is to make healthcare much more accessible. One of the realities that we have in this area is that um, the, the primary institution for healthcare is the Black River Hospital. But it was really built to house about 90 persons. Um, on an average, it, it has 120, 150 people. Um, what we see as, as a strategy for better health care is to make primary health care, which is our health clinics, bring them closer to the people, provide them with more services so that the hospitals are really only for emergencies. What we have happening is that a number of non-emergency cases um, head to the hospital, burden the hospital, and end up not being treated um, as quickly as they could have been if there, were, if there was a primary healthcare facility that is dedicated to that sort of service. And for us, that's why it's very, very important that in the Treasure Beach area, that we have a primary healthcare facility. Also, again, um, I think it will help us in terms of the cultural problems we have with our men um, not going to the doctor and not feeling comfortable to go to the doctor. What you find is that when you bring it closer home, when it's much easier, when they have less of an excuse, then we expect to see more of them. Plus, clearly what you see in Treasure Beach and what has been the profile of the organizations we set up, is that they're activist organizations. One of the things that I want to see as member of parliament is a clinic that will have doctors who will go out into the community, who will go out and speak to people about proper healthcare practices, speak to people about regular checkups, and then clear will be much easier because their base is in the community. So for me, that will be really life-changing and culture-changing, and we'll see a, a complete shift in how Treasure Beach and its surroundings deals with healthcare. And one of the things we have prided ourselves for years is that we're the leaders. So we've led in community tourism and the model, and the model is now being um, practiced all over. We've led in relation to our, the NGOs that we have set up, our community-based organizations have been able to achieve much more than any other place in Jamaica. And now we want to lead in healthcare. We are now leading in recycling, right? And it ties in perfectly. So what we want to see and what is the big mission that we all can come together and coalesce around is to establish a first-class primary healthcare facility. What we plan to do is to call upon our international friends, our international partners, people with experience, call upon our residents, call upon clearly the government that I am a part of, and call upon our private sector to say, let us show them how when we all come together, how we can establish something that is sustainable, that is life and culture changing, and that will augur for not only the betterment of Treasure Beach, not only the betterment of Jamaica, but the betterment of the, our humanity. That is what this is about. So I, I think what, what has been really characteristic of the Treasure Beach experience is that because of this sort of integrated community tourism approach that we practice, everybody benefits, right? So we, we, we have gone a, a much different way than... Um, private owners just coming in and um, workers coming in and um, the produce that is used is taken from elsewhere. That has not been our approach. And, and, and we're very proud that our approach integrates community. So you will see families working in our community tourism model. You will see that the, the father is the farmer who supplies to the villa owner who has somebody else working from the family. So what has happened in the area, especially with people transforming their own homes. And especially because we, we, the sort of tourism we do is to bring people to people. People have been transforming their own homes into sources of income, and that has really helped. So what we see is a, is a rising tide, and um, all boats are rising, and, and we want to ensure that um, as, as we rise together, that um, we develop all aspects. And as such, healthcare is critical in, in, in keeping the tide up so that everybody can benefit.